The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim has just received its long-awaited and much-needed facelift in the form of a new Skyrim Special Edition, boasting boosted graphics and mod support for console players. After its release in 2011, Skyrim boomed with popularity as players immersed themselves in the fantastical world of Tamriel, never at a loss for things to do. Taking in the sights, crawling through a dungeon, or even something as simple as just enjoying a hunt, Skyrim had it all. But with Skyrim's re-release, I've started to realise just how magical this world truly is, and so today I'll be showing you 5 things you can do in Skyrim, but you can't do in real life. Number 5. Carry 1000 cheese wheels at once. Now this goes for almost any item in the game admittedly, but you cannot deny the hilarity that comes with being able to carry 1000 whole cheese wheels and be able to eat them just as well. Slow down there buddy, there's such a thing as too much fun. <laughs> Number 4. Cooking a delicious meal. Skyrim makes cooking look so damn easy. A bit of this, and a bit of that, and then BAM, a delicious meal. But I think we know that in the real world, it takes a little bit more work. Hello everyone, and welcome back to the White Cup Kitchen. Today, I'm going to be making a grapefruit tartare. Grapefruit tartare is a really yummy treat my family has made for years. And it consists of a grapefruit, and so the first thing we're going to want to do is cut up the grapefruit. Now, you just want to get rid of that little top bit. Uh, a little bit more of that top bit. Now, you just want to cut it into nice, thick chunks, just like this. There we go. Now, one of the most important parts about grapefruit tartare is the caramelization process. So, we're going to want some sugar. Going to put a bit of sugar over the top of them. Just nice coating of sugar all over the exposed flesh and you just want to rub that in. Why are we doing that? That doesn't make any sense. Well, when we have the sugar on there, once we start cooking it, it sort of helps caramelize it, it turns into a nice sort of thick saucy uh, sort of consistency, sort of like a coolie. It's not really like a coolie because they're not really... It <laughs> it's nice, okay, fuck. Alrighty, so we have to have a pan. You want it on a nice mid heat. We don't want it too hot because that's how you burn things. So it's quite straightforward. What we want to do now is just pop these grapefruit on the pan. I can only fit two at a time, so we might have to do it in batches. It's already starting to cook up nicely. <laughs> you can probably notice that smell right now. That's the smell of the sugar in the grapefruit. See, that's already starting. That's already starting to brown up quite nicely. Now, this is the perfect time to do this. If you want to spice it up a little bit, this might sound a little bit crazy, but if you use just a tiny pinch of salt. It really helps cut through the sweetness and sort of give it a sort of more balanced taste. If you also want to spice it up a little bit, a little bit of ground cinnamon never hurt anyone. We just chuck a little bit of that on top. Those two methods are great, but there's uh, the one I prefer, and that's just a nice half cup of flour. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This sure smells yummy. These are probably almost about done. Now, the problem you're going to find when it comes to putting the flour in is it makes a lot of dryness in the pan, and that's why we have our boiling water ready just so we can put just you got to be really steady with this one you just get oh sh number three getting a real job you loser in Skyrim you can pick crops for various farmers rewarding you with two gold pieces per crop on the police honest pay for honest work I know two gold doesn't seem like much but at least he's earning money you lazy piece of sh Number two, it's a fine day with you take part. Well, yes. Take part in a happy family life. In, in the base game, uh, players could so marry certain characters we'll after they build a rapport. At least we'll have each other. Can make it look so easy. You're the best. With the addition of the Hearthfire add-on, this gave us the ability to boost the ranks of our fake families. We could finally adopt live? children. Thanks, Mr. Um, Papa. I promise I'll be the best daughter. And uh, give them a give them a better You're life. Home. Wanna play a ga 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 game? <laughs> Mom! 
Number 1. Fighting Dragons. 